Uh, what's up, y'all? I'm Drea, and today I'm about to take it to another level, as you know I always do. But I'm gonna show y'all a little something with this. It's a smoked turkey leg if you've never seen one before. But it's delicious, high in protein, and I'm gonna show you how you switch it up. Now this is gonna be a quick shot meal that's gonna have a variety of different flavors, but I'll tell you this, it'll help you keep getting those results in the gym, I can promise you that. All right, let me show you what's up, let's do it. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the meat off this bone. And, uh, you know, that fat on this, from the skin is usually good, um, but I'm gonna take some of that off as well because I don't really want it too fatty, but I'm not gonna um, take it off completely because I want some of the flavors from the fat. And again, it's just gonna flavor it. And I'm not too concerned um, about my fat intake when it comes to, you know, cooking my my beans or my greens or whatever, because a lot of it's just gonna be some flavoring and then um, just me being active and doing the things I need to do, that's gonna, you know, burn those calories. So I'm not really tripping on that. Now, you specifically, you can be concerned about that. That's your thing, okay? But for me, I'm not tripping. So I take the meat off the bone, and when you start doing this, you're gonna realize it's got a lot of little bones up in here. So just pay attention to what you're doing. Chop that up pretty good, and um, you know, make sure the bone little slivers um, are kind of discarded and put to the side. Now the major bone, you wanna keep it so that you can use that to flavor your beans, your greens, and whatever else we got going on. So. Take your time, and again, if you don't have a sharp knife, abs tight, get it right. All right, cool, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my hands and just go through it and break that apart and peel that out, whatever you can do. It's a little rough and tough, but do what you can, you know? And then once you get all the meat off of the bone, you can chop it up and put that to the side because you're gonna add that to the ingredients I'm about to show you next. All right, y'all, look at all that meat. That meat right there, that's about four or five meals right there, you know? And that's high protein, it's lean, so plus it's flavorful, you know? You can't beat that. Now let me show y'all what we're gonna add it to. So you have a variety of different ways that you can incorporate this into some meals and it might ignite some creativity on your part to make it your own as well. So let's take it to the next level. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and I chopped up that meat, took it off the bone, of course. Now, this is some stuff I had in my refrigerator. Uh, sometimes, you know, your lettuce looks a little brown, hey, but you know what, we balling on the budget. And so a little bit isn't gonna hurt you. If it's slimy, don't mess with it. But something like this, man, I just go ahead and take that off, inspect it, you know, make sure it's cool, that's straight. You know, that right there, I don't want none of that. You know, that's good. So, you know, go ahead, go through. You know, you don't have to waste stuff. A lot of times, you know, um, it's still good. You just gotta take off the imperfections and it's all good. It's not gonna kill you. Now, even right here on my, um, what the heck is this thing? Shoot, my mind is face me. It's um, the cabbage. So anyway, that right there, this little rough looking spot, I just go ahead and take that off, you know, get all them imperfections out of there. And then the rest, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop up and then add that to the next thing I'm about to show you. Cause this right here is good and it sucks for you to throw it away and you're able to make a dynamite meal with it, right? Save your money for, you know, the next meals. But um, that's how you do it. Now I'm gonna add, cut up a tomato and then I'm gonna show you what we gonna do with this. I'm telling you, this is off the chain. You gonna like it. Uh, all right, y'all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some greens, um, but it's a different kind of greens. These, this is kale. So I'm adding a smoked turkey leg to sauteed kale. 
with garlic, just kind of like you would do your collard greens, but this is gonna be a quick shot version and it's gonna taste dynamite, I promise you that. Let me show you what I do. So while the pan's getting hot, waiting on that, okay, I'm gonna add some olive oil. Cool. So that's the good fat. And then I'm gonna add some garlic. And as that's warming up, just make sure you don't burn the garlic because then it's gonna be bitter and nasty and it won't be cool. So make sure you're ready and prepared before adding ingredients because that garlic will cook quick. All right, so as it's doing this thing, then I'm gonna add um, my kale inside, saute that, and then I'm gonna start adding my meat in there to bring out that flavor so they can combine together. And then I'm gonna add a couple more ingredients. That's looking like it's cooking now. All right, cool. So I'm gonna add the kale. All right, cool. Then I'm gonna add some meat. You normally wanna weigh your meat out, so at least you have an idea what's in there, but you can weigh it out afterwards. Add a couple more, cool. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna add some chicken broth. Now mind you, the recipe's on the blog as well as posted below. Ooh, all right, then let it just sit and do its thing. The smokiness from the turkey is gonna infuse with the kale, give it some good flavor. Um, I like it spicy, so I'm gonna add some red pepper flake. Be mindful. Remember, you could always uh, add more, you can't take away. A little bit goes a long way. Cool. All right, now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of some honey. That's gonna break any bitterness that might be in there and then a tablespoon of vinegar. Now you can get creative and add more spices. You know what's real crazy? Is I like to add soy sauce at, at the end of it. I call it like a finisher, right? So it's already on my plate, and then I'll add a little bit of soy sauce and maybe some red rooster hot sauce. Shh, don't play with me. This stuff is good. All right, cool. Let it kick it and do its thing. It'll be soft, delicious. And then make sure you weigh out that meat and so you're in line with your, um, dietary macros so when you're in the gym you know what you're doing you want to feed the muscles and whatever it is that your fitness goals are but this is definitely a tasty one that you'll enjoy